In this video we are going to look at cherry picking to a stable branch. First we'll start with a quick look at a simple way to do it directly through the Garrett UI, which does have some gotchas, and later we'll look at a CLI method, which always works but is a little more complicated. For the Garrett method, you'll go out to the review that you want to backport, click the cherry pick button, and then tell it which branch you want to cherry pick to. If you start typing stable in that box, you should get a list of the available stable branches on the repo. In the Sandbox's case, this is the randomly named XYZZY. In most real projects, this is going to be something like stable slash Newton, stable slash Mataka, etc. Then to complete the cherry pick, you just click the button at the bottom here, and you're good to go. However, I'm not actually going to do that on this patch, because the first of our gotchas is changes that have not merged to master yet which is the case here. Now the problem with doing this is that we're missing some important details from the bottom of the commit message which would be added automatically if the patch had merged but because it hasn't they're missing and most projects are going to want to see that in their backports so they'll probably make you redo this anyway. The other problem that you can run into is if the patch doesn't apply cleanly to the stable branch and in that case you will have to resolve the merge conflicts by hand in the CLI method. To my knowledge, Garrett still can't do merge conflicts in the UI. I know they've added some editing features, but I don't think that's one of them. So if either one of the gotchas applies, you'll have to use the CLI method, which is what we'll cover next. I should note that even though the CLI method allows you to backport early, it's still a good idea to hold off on proposing backports until you're pretty sure the master patch is going to merge as is. The reason for this is that every time the master patch changes, you have to redo the cherry pick to the stable branch, and you don't want to have to keep doing that over and over and over if a number of patch sets are needed for the master patch. However, sometimes it can save a little time to propose it early, say if the master patch is in the gate and just waiting for CI to complete on it. So with that, we'll move on to the demo itself, and this time we're going to use a real repo, so it looks like what you would actually see and we'll do everything right up until the git review but we won't actually push it for review because hopefully by now you've seen that enough times and, and are familiar with it so I don't need to demo that in every video. Our first step will be to create a local stable branch. We'll do this by checking out the stable Newton branch from the origin remote. And then we'll create the local branch. Now I like to set up my local branches so that I can just directly get pull from the upstream branches. By default this isn't going to be configured however. Fortunately git does give us the command that we need to run. And now git pull should work fine. There we go. The next step is to go back to the master branch and find the commit that we want to cherry pick. And you can see I've made a test commit here. We'll just make a note of the commit ID. Then we go back to our stable branch. And we'll go ahead and create a separate branch from this so that we don't pollute our upstream tracking stable branch. and then we can go ahead and run the cherry pick command. Now do note the dash x in that command. That is what will add those details I mentioned were missing in the Garrett UI example. And we'll take a look in a second at what those details are. Here you can see that the dash x has added another line to our commit message that tells us which master commit this was cherry picked from. That's handy for tracking backports and seeing where they came from and making it very explicit that this is a backport and not an original commit on the branch. I should also note that you can copy a cherry pick command from the Garrett UI. That's under the download button that we looked at in a previous video. And that will pull the change directly from the Garrett review. However, in that case you need to make sure to add dash x to the command that it gives you because it will not be there in the first place. At this point, you just have to run git review and the backport will be proposed. If it's deemed appropriate for the stable branch by the review team, it will merge. 
That's how you cherry pick to a stable branch, and thanks for watching.